Right, the next thing I'm going to have to do is this milling machine's got a problem. Uh, this has been on the kind of on the go for a while, but the, the uh, spindle or the quill here heats up, and it's it's been like it for ages, but it's but it's always been sort of bearable. But now it's getting to the point where it's too hot to touch, and you'd you'd think it needs greasing or anything, but there isn't anywhere anywhere you can get the grease straight into the bearing. It's a sealed bearing, I think. I've been chatting to some people on some forums about it. So really, the the this head piece has to come off, and I've got to get the, the sealed bearing out and replace it. But I'm just gonna see if I can finish, just push it to finish this job first, because it it really gets hot. I mean. I mean, when I say hot, oh, it's, too, it's too hot to touch, so it's definitely not right. So I'm going to have to do that for this next task. It's not that difficult to take it apart. It's just the rigmarole of the tramming now. Just so it works. In. Do a bit of a clean up. I don't know what you call this. A head, maybe. There's the motor and the top bit. Somehow I've got to get to the bearing in here and I have taken this off once before. Just gonna try one thing. And just gonna put a handle for the, the lathe is the nearest thing we've got. I'm just gonna tap it very gently. I might I don't think this is gonna work, but you never know. Expect that. We've not damaged anything. Whew, that was lucky. And there is the top bearing. some other bits and bobs. Mm. 
really careful with this. So we've got one bearing here. And is that a another grub screw? I think it might be. Get this uh, Where's the other soft door gone? Oh, how can you come up? I've done anywhere. It's impossible. Why does why does this happen? I mean I haven't <coughs> left this room with the I oh, don't know. Right. Anyway, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go any further because I don't want to damage anything. So that's it, I'm calling it a day. Right, I've taken the mill apart as best I can or as best I know how to. I've still got the quill and the bearings to take out, so I'm just gonna take these to my mate and see he you knows stuff like this. Uh, but by chance, if there is anyone there or anybody watching who happens to know about this or has got any ideas, I mean please feel free to give me a shout. Um be much appreciated. Somehow this bearing and this bearing has got to come out and I suspect that this piece has got to come off. Well, it must it has to. So I don't want to force it. Yeah, anyway. See what AD says, he always uh, he always comes up with some good ideas.